Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory, where we are back with another wild crossbreeding challenge. And today is very exciting because both of the animals that we are going to crossbreed have come from the islands to celebrate Sulani and to celebrate all of the animals that live on the various islands throughout the world. I thought it would be really fun to deal with one of the rarest cats in the world today, the Sunda Clouded Leopard, which is a medium-sized cat that is located on some islands. So it is actually from Borneo and Sumatra. I wanted to make sure I got those right. And there are fewer than 10,000 of them left in the wild. As you can imagine, your population is probably held in check from being on an island. But when you are on an island populated with people, it does make it even more tricky and even more difficult for little carnivores like the clouded leopard who lives there to make their way through the forest and find enough prey. People take up a lot of space and you tend to have a bit of habitat loss, but luckily for this clouded leopard, it fell into our hands and we are going to be able to definitely help it out here. And uh, in exchange, it is going to help us out by satisfying my ever abundant curiosity and seeing what breeding a clouded leopard and a raccoon, a wild raccoon would do. Also, while we're here, that raccoon tail is so cute, but I want it to be even fluffier. I, we're gonna say that this raccoon is a little agitated, so he has an extra fluffy tail. As you can see, we have the little raccoon fingers on this wild raccoon as well. And those are both wonderful custom content pieces by Kalino. Highly recommend checking out her stuff as always. And I'm very excited to see what their babies may look like. As you guys know, they are both cats in The Sims 4 with just some tweaks and some mods, but look at how convincing of a clouded leopard you can create thanks to the amazing, amazing detail work you can do in The Sims. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the original creator, Pug Owned, of this beautiful Sunda Clouded Leopard. Absolutely incredible. There are several Clouded Leopards who are actually larger that you can find in the dog category, but I really, this is the most beautiful one that I have found on the gallery. And I really wanted to give Pug Owned a huge shout out. So today we are are breeding between uh, the clouded leopard and the raccoon. But in the future, you may see larger variants of clouded leopards. Cough, cough. We'll pretend they're from the mainland instead. Cough, cough. And uh, of course, we have all of the amazing animals from the dog category that we might be able to crossbreed them with. So all of that said, this clouded leopard has crept out of its jungle, wary and hungry, searching for food. And it's very difficult to survive in these human ravaged areas where they have moved through the forest and taken over so much territory. So lucky for our clouded leopard, it bumps into a raccoon. But rather than threaten this raccoon and perhaps have a quick meal, the raccoon proves to be extremely wily and it is able to show the Sunda clouded leopard the wonders of digging in trash. <laughs> I love that idea too. The clouded leopard comes into the city along the edges late at night and meets this trash panda who is digging around in a dumpster and is able to happily provide the clouded leopard with a bit of food in exchange for not being eaten itself. Eventually, a bond begins to form the two, between the two of them, and with the, the powers of my science experiments in our Random Pets Laboratory, let's go ahead and see what six of their adorable little kits would look like. I am really holding out hope for a clouded leopard raccoon. That is what I really want. I want that big giant fluffy tail, and I want to be able to have those big fingers and I want, well, actually, I could, I could give up with the fingers. I will, I want the tail and I want that beautiful jaw structure that you have here. They both have the most adorable little curved ears. So this should be a lot of fun. All right, Clouded Leopard. As you two feast on, oh, the baby! Look at that 
a cute little baby. Oh my gosh, the little striped dummy. This is seriously one of the most beautiful, beautiful creations I have ever seen on the gallery. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> But as the clouded leopard and the raccoon feast on what is no doubt something like KFC leftovers from the dump, let's go ahead and have them. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's a blind kitten! Oh, this, I totally didn't expect this. And you can't even tell what it is going to grow up into. This is so exciting. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. And I just realized I need to get some of your guys' names in order to name this little one. All right, so I would like all of you to meet Aster. So welcome, Aster. This is so exciting. Come on, a clouded leopard and a raccoon having kittens. We're going to end up with something very interesting from this mix. Let's go ahead and see what your personality will be, Asper. Or Aster, excuse me. Friendly, clever, and a bit of a glutton. Well, that sounds like you've got a lot of your raccoon heritage in there, my little one. But I wonder how her life is going to be since she does not have uh, any sight. I wonder what kind of tail she is gonna grow up with. Oh, and that reminds me, <gasps> we need to give this clouded leopard a proper long cat tail. There we go. Thank you once again to Kalino. Look at how much we were able to add to both of the animals thanks to her fantastic mod pieces oh my gosh all right kit number two let's go ahead <gasps> yes 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 okay that's amazing a purple eyed clouded leopard kit um yeah, this is turning out to be even better than I possibly imagined it could be. And I would like all of you to welcome Shadow. So thank you, Shadow Vet, for your very sweet comment and for leaving adorable duck emojis. I love it when you guys leave animal and plant emojis. It's like artwork in my comment section. Absolutely glorious. And I am so excited to have you here. Look, you have purple eyes oh this is exciting we are getting a lot more luck with these patterns than we have had with some of the mixes in the past and shadow you are affectionate skittish and fluffy so i wonder if shadow actually is the eyes for her sister aster we will have to see because i could see both of them relying on each other all right let's see all right, there we go. I was pulling up another name. And now we will have, you guys, ooh, that's a pretty kitten. Oh my gosh. The Sunda Clouded Leopard would make such beautiful kittens. Holy cow. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at this little wild raccoon. Is it just me or does it have the Clouded Leopard's jawline? I wonder if this is going to be a like raccoon leopard, a raccoon the size of a leopard. That would be kind of interesting to see. And I would like to introduce all of you to Silver. So welcome to Silver, who happens to be a skittish free spirit who is lazy. Aw. And then let's go ahead and get another kit. Oh my gosh. Okay, we might have to have some more clouded leopard kits in the future because this is just too much. They are so pretty. <gasps> Red eyes, what is going on? This is truly one of the most wild litters that we have had yet. I am just blown away. I would like all of you guys to meet a little Gecko. Thank you very much to Gecko LPS for your sweet comments. You are an aloof prowler who is very fluffy and we will have to see who you grow up to look like and what you inherit because that is just really, really fun. All right, let's go ahead and next one. Oh. You guys, we might have to do another litter of clouded leopard kittens and just have them be random all across the board because this is amazing. Holy cow. Oh geez, they just don't stop being beautiful. Apparently the leopard genetics are really, really strong and really, really beautiful. And I would like to introduce all of you to Momo who is an affectionate, talkative, and friendly cat, no doubt ready to find a good home in the city because they are, they are really friendly. That's really fun. All right, next up, we have got another raccoon. 
Okay, and another daughter. Let's go ahead and see who this one's gonna be. And this is actually gonna be Dimi. So Dimi, welcome, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and see what your personality will be. So Dimi is going to be a lazy prowler who is aloof, which sounds adorable if you ask me. So I have to say friends, this is truly one of the most wild litters that we have had yet because we have ended up with a blind raccoon kit, a purple eyed snow leopard kit, and just, just look at this. It's a perfect mix between the two. I am really, really happy with this. So let's go ahead and see what these little kits will grow up into and which one of their parents' uh, different genes they will inherit. Let's begin with little Aster, the only blind kit of the entire litter. How will she get on in life? How will she fill her very hungry belly? Well, thankfully, she is both friendly and she is clever, so I'm sure she is going to find a way. And something tells me a couple of her litter mates might actually help her as they age up. So, Aster, one, two, three. Okay, I'm only, oh, Aster, you're Dale. Oh, I'm only laughing because that was a little anticlimactic to literally end up with a, a raccoon. Uh, however, it is going to be a raccoon, a blind raccoon who happens to have the long tail, which is very exciting. Long tail, no fingers. The, so that actually looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It kind of like between the blind eyes and then that tail, it kind of looks like a raccoon that would make you absolutely scream if you ran into her. No offense, Aster, in the dark, but just, you know, when things are almost more scary, when they're so familiar and so recognizable, but just a little bit stretched out and weird and different. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from Aster here. So that's kind of what is making me think like this. <laughs> Because can you imagine how eerie that would be? You go out and you're like, oh, it's just a raccoon raiding my trash can. You go, little trash panda. And then it turns and it faces you in the darkness. And its eyes are a unreflective white that just are pits staring out at you. And just as you go, whoa, it, it turns around and begins eating again. And this super long tail just slides up from the shadows. <laughs> I would be so freaked out. I would just be, I would be like, nope, this is a nope. And I would just like lock my door, go inside, try to pretend I never saw anything. So no offense, Aster, but you are a bit of a surreal creation. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and see what Shadow is going to have. We're going to go and grow you up, my little one. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> so close! So close! We did end up with the clouded leopard outline. I was really hoping we would end up with a raccoon jaw with that kind of coloring. However, we did end up with a raccoon tail! So, the randomization said, oh, look at that fluffy tail. Oh, this is going to be really exciting. Okay, Shadow is really, really impressive and also did not inherit the fingers, which is probably a good thing, but did inherit the fluffy tail. I, I really like that jawline. It's so strong and it really matches what the larger cat carnivores have. But man, I was kind of hoping for that raccoon mix because that would be really interesting too. But we have many more a kit to admire, including a little Silver here, who I think has probably spent most of his life wishing that maybe he had grown up to be a, uh, maybe he had grown up to be a silver leopard like the rest of his family because it would match his name better. But he does have silver coat now that I think of it. <gasps> Ooh, he is actually a large raccoon leopard. Those markings are actually really, really cool on him. Wow. And actually, buddy, my friend, you inherited dun, 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 the leopard tail. That's really cool. Wow. Like it, you kind of, it kind of reminds me of a Jack or Andy more than anything at this moment. We might have to do a Jack or Andy mix and I will tell you guys what a Jack or Andy is because I forget they exist to be completely honest, but we will look into that mix in the future too. These look like really cool, like island animals, if you ask me, like the kind of creatures you would just find on an island and you'd be like, well, this is, this is, this is the way that life is now. And then, oh, little gecko. Let's go ahead and see what you grow up into, my dear. Oh, so close. Okay, I think, wait, 
I think we do have the jaw. I think we have much more of a raccoon jaw. Not quite as dramatic, but we've got quite a bit of a raccoon jaw. Smaller eyes, much smaller jaw on Gecko. We're getting closer, my friends. We're getting closer. And we actually have the fluffy tail. Okay, not quite where I was going and what I was aiming for, but pretty happily close, which makes me content. Let's go ahead and see Momo. Let me roll to see what your tail is gonna be. Momo, my dear. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that's a different fur type for sure, and that is a different face. Oh, I really think that's the raccoon face. I really do. It's just that this is a very fluffy, very, very fluffy animal. I think we're getting, ugh, we got so close to my dream of having a leopard patterned raccoon. <laughs> and we do actually have the fluffy tail on Momo too. I don't think I would complain about having any of these animals wander by in my Sims 4 Island Let's Play. They all are really fantastic. And we've got little Demi. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and see. Demi, let's grow you up, my dear. <gasps> Nice! Okay. And Demi, you actually inherited the fluffy tail. So we're going to go ahead and grant the fluffy tail to Demi and that nice, powerful jaw. Honestly, guys, especially once we get that like leopard and raccoon jaw mix, I would not be surprised to see any of these animals on an island. They all make me feel like, oh yeah, like a wild cat like this. Like I kind of expect Momo to be in the snows or something. Oh, I think Momo actually has one of my absolute favorite outlines, but I have to say that Aster here is one of the scariest ones we've ever made. No offense, Aster. It's not your fault. It's just that you're a little bit surreal and uncanny. And I really think if I had a raccoon raiding my trash can that looked like you, I would, I would, I would, I'm just like getting goosebumps thinking about it. <laughs> That'd be so scary. All right. Well, there we go, guys. I was curious. I like the results. I really, oh, I love how different the jaws are between all of them too. Like we've got really strong ones and then like with Gecko and with Momo, we're getting a much closer, like I wanted, Momo, hold still. I'm gonna pinch your cheeks. Eh. That's about as far as they'll go. I think Momo got us as close as we could have gotten to a beautiful leopard patterned raccoon. And I really like the results. I, I think it'd be a lot of fun just to kind of unleash these wild animals in my Sims world and see what their children's children children would look like over time. But all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to our wonderful wild cats and raccoons. Our wild, our wild cocoons. <laughs> Cocoon, oh my gosh. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!